How has the work of a man born over a millennium ago shaped the world of modern science and philosophy? This isn't a rhetorical question, but one that leads us into the fascinating world of Ibn Sina, also known as Avicenna in the Western world. Born in the year 980 in the city of Afshana near Bukhara in present-day Uzbekistan, Ibn Sina's intellectual reach was vast and enduring. A polymath in the truest sense, his contributions touched various fields, including medicine, philosophy, astronomy, mathematics, chemistry and theology. In the realm of philosophy, Ibn Sina emerged as a shining beacon. His major work, Kitab al-Shifa, or the Book of Healing, is a philosophical encyclopedia that delves deep into topics such as metaphysics, ethics and logic. It's his refined thought process and intellectual rigour that have earned him the reputation as one of the most influential figures in Islamic philosophy. But philosophy wasn't his only forte. Ibn Sina made significant strides in medicine as well. His magnum opus, Kitab al kanun fi al-Tib, or the Canon of Medicine, is a testament to his medical genius. This comprehensive medical encyclopedia became a standard textbook, not only in the Islamic world, but also in Europe for several centuries. Beyond the realms of philosophy and medicine, Ibn Sina's intellectual curiosity led him to make considerable contributions to astronomy, mathematics and chemistry. He penned extensive works on subjects like the astrolabe and the calculation of the volume of a paraboloid, further testifying to his polymathic capabilities. Even theology couldn't escape his intellectual pursuit. Despite his philosophical ideas sometimes clashing with religious authorities, Ibn Sina sought to reconcile reason and revelation in his writings, a testament to his intellectual courage and vision. But it's not just his scholarly pursuits that define Ibn Sina, he was also a poet and wrote poetry in both Persian and Arabic, showcasing his artistic side. To comprehend the extent of Ibn Sina's influence, we need to delve into his life and contributions in detail. So let's embark on this intellectual journey and explore the life and legacy of this remarkable polymath. Born in the city of Afshana, near Bukhara in 980 CE during Samanid Empire, which was a Persian empire, Ibn Sina showed signs of his brilliance from a young age. Nestled in the heart of what is now Uzbekistan, the young polymath grew up in a stimulating environment that nurtured his innate curiosity. His father, a respected government official, ensured that Ibn Sina had access to a comprehensive education, sparking an early love for learning. By the tender age of 10, Ibn Sina had already mastered the Quran and a great deal of Arabic literature. His thirst for knowledge was insatiable, and he soon delved into the realms of philosophy, medicine and astronomy, showing an exceptional aptitude for each. His intellectual prowess and relentless curiosity were evident even then, hinting at the influential polymath he would become. This early foundation set the stage for Ibn Sina's future contributions. Ibn Sina's philosophical work, Kitab al-Shifa, is an intellectual treasure that still resonates today. The grandeur of Ibn Sina's philosophical prowess is captured in his magnum opus, Kitab al-Shifa, also known as the Book of Healing. This colossal work is not a medical manual, as its name might suggest, but a comprehensive philosophical encyclopedia. It covers a wide range of subjects from metaphysics and ethics to logic and philosophy of mind. In metaphysics, an area where Ibn Sina left a significant mark, he proposed an elaborate system of thought. He grappled with the concept of being and existence, offering a distinct perspective that combined Aristotelian philosophy with Islamic theology. His groundbreaking concept of necessary existence helped shape arguments for the existence of God and became a cornerstone of Islamic philosophy. In ethics, Ibn Sina was deeply invested in the understanding of the soul and its virtue. He believed that the ultimate goal of human life was to achieve a state of perfect goodness and intellectual clarity, an idea that parallels the Aristotelian concept of eudaimonia or the good life. In logic, Ibn Sina introduced innovative concepts that expanded upon Aristotelian logic. He proposed a new type of syllogism, a logical argument that applies deductive reasoning to arrive at a conclusion, and developed a method of quantification of the predicates, 
a technique that wouldn't be fully realized in the West until the 19th century. Ibn Sina's philosophical ideas have had far-reaching impacts. In the Islamic world, his works became fundamental texts in philosophical curriculum, shaping the intellectual landscape for centuries. In the West, his ideas found their way into the heart of medieval scholastic philosophy, influencing prominent thinkers like Thomas Aquinas. It is a testament to Ibn Sina's intellectual legacy that Kitab al-Shifa continues to be studied in philosophical circles today, more than a millennium after its creation. His philosophical insights remain relevant, offering timeless wisdom and a unique perspective on the nature of existence, morality and knowledge. Ibn Sina's philosophical contributions continue to influence thinkers around the world. The canon of medicine, a name that reverberates through the halls of medical history, thanks to Ibn Sina. This Persian polymath, known in the Western world as Avicenna, left an indelible mark on the field of medicine through his monumental work. The canon of medicine is more than just a textbook. It's a comprehensive encyclopedia that systematically organized the medical knowledge of its time. Covering topics from anatomy and pathology to pharmacology and various diseases, Ibn Sina's work became a standard reference in both Europe and the Islamic world for several centuries. Picture a time where Google doesn't exist and you have this one book that contains all the medical wisdom of the ages. That was the canon of medicine for the physicians of the past. The genius of Ibn Sina lay not just in his ability to compile existing knowledge, but also in his innovative approach to medicine. He emphasized the importance of observation and experimentation. And he was one of the first to argue for the concept of quarantine to prevent the spread of diseases. He also wrote extensively about mental health, making connections between emotional well-being and physical health, a concept that is widely accepted today. A key aspect of Ibn Sina's medical approach was his holistic view of the human body. He understood that the body was a complex system where various parts interacted and influenced each other. This was a significant departure from the prevailing views of the time, which often treated diseases as isolated phenomena. Ibn Sina's work in medicine extended beyond the canon. He also wrote about pharmacology, detailing over 800 known medicinal substances of his time, and his writings on anatomy were revolutionary, providing detailed descriptions of the human body's structures. His medical knowledge, systematically organized, shaped the future of Eastern and Western medicine. Ibn Sina's influence on medicine was not just about the knowledge he compiled, but more about the way he thought, the way he approached medicine. His work laid the groundwork for many modern medical practices, and his legacy continues to inspire medical practitioners and scholars alike. Beyond philosophy and medicine, Ibn Sina's intellectual prowess spanned across astronomy, mathematics, chemistry and theology. His insatiable curiosity and relentless pursuit of knowledge led him to make significant contributions to these diverse fields, further cementing his reputation as a polymath of the highest order. In the realm of astronomy, Ibn Sina wrote extensively about the astrolabe, an ancient device used for solving problems relating to time and the positions of the stars. He also made noteworthy contributions to mathematics, particularly in the calculation of the volume of a paraboloid, a topic of great interest in the field of geometry. However, his contributions were not confined only to the natural sciences. Ibn Sina also made significant strides in the field of chemistry, particularly in the area of distillation. He delved deeply into the mysteries of transforming substances, advancing our understanding of various chemical processes. His work in this field served as a foundation for later advancements in alchemy and chemistry. Perhaps one of the most intriguing aspects of Ibn Sina's intellectual journey was his foray into theology. Although his philosophical ideas occasionally sparked controversy with religious authorities, Ibn Sina was undeterred in his quest to reconcile reason with revelation. His writings on Islamic theology attempted to bridge the gap between faith and intellect, a feat that was both brave and challenging in his time. In addition to his scholarly pursuits, Ibn Sina was also a man of letters. He penned poetry in both Persian and Arabic, adding a touch of artistic beauty to his vast intellectual repertoire. His verses not only reflected his own thoughts and emotions, 
but also provided a unique window into the intellectual and cultural life of his era. In conclusion, Ibn Sina's versatile genius had a profound impact on numerous fields of knowledge. His contributions transcended disciplines, breaking the boundaries of what was deemed possible in his time. His life and work serve as a testament to the limitless potential of the human mind when driven by curiosity and a relentless thirst for knowledge. The influence of Ibn Sina extended far beyond his lifetime, shaping the foundations of various disciplines. His comprehensive works became the bedrock of knowledge, studied and commented upon by scholars in the Islamic world and later in medieval Europe. His profound insights into medicine, philosophy, astronomy, mathematics, chemistry and theology were not just revolutionary for his era, but have endured through the centuries. Ibn Sina's approach, characterized by keen observation, rigorous experimentation, and the synthesis of knowledge from different fields, laid the groundwork for a more systematic and scientific approach to knowledge. His methodology, coupled with his intellectual prowess, helped bridge the gap between the ancient wisdom of the Greeks and the emerging scientific revolution of the Middle Ages. However, it's crucial to remember that Ibn Sina's works, while foundational, were not without criticism or controversy. Different interpretations of his ideas have emerged over the centuries, sparking intense debates among scholars. Despite criticism and controversy, Ibn Sina's legacy stands tall in the history of philosophy, science and medicine.